Well, we begin at 5.30 with a major step forward in the HRBT expansion. The largest highway construction project ever in Virginia is supposed to take years and billions of dollars to complete. Alex Littlehales tells us about the new piece of equipment drivers can expect to see very soon. A new arrival paving a path ahead for what James Utterback hopes. Four lanes in each direction less headaches for drivers in Hampton Roads. Traffic should move a lot uh, better than it does now during the peak times. And unveiling that fit the bill for a big step forward in the expansion of the Hampton Roads bridge tunnel. Mary, the TDM, has arrived at the Norfolk International Terminal. Tuesday, state leaders officially celebrated the arrival of Mary to Hampton Roads, a tunnel boring machine that will dig the HRBT's expanded tunnel lanes. Larger than a football field and weighing as much as 10 fully loaded Boeing 747s, the machine's arrival to the 757 marks a major milestone in the expansion process. Project leaders pulled back the curtain from the machine Tuesday. Well, at least a replica of the real one. Obviously, this is not the full tunnel boring machine, Mary. This is only a replica. The real one is made up of thousands of parts, which is expected to take about six months to put together. Because it's less impactful on the environment. So this machine actually does two processes simultaneously. So second procedure or process is a robot arm installing precast concrete shell segments. Even though crews still need to put together Mary, the significance is all the same for the region. It's the latest chapter in reducing congestion between the south side and the peninsula. Peak summer hours, just excess of 100,000 vehicles per day. In Portsmouth, I'm Alex Wales for 13 News Now. Now we're told this machine can tunnel about 50 feet per day. The expansion is expected to start in mid-2022. This project will relieve congestion drivers have dealt with for years, even decades. We've all been there. Let's take a look back at 1987, just like today, it's slow moving. This was 30 years after the tunnel was built in 1956. It wasn't until 1992 when the much needed Monitor Merrimack Memorial Bridge Tunnel opened, but that relief wouldn't last long. The region kept growing and we kept finding ourselves stuck. From 1999 to 2016, a complex series of studies were performed to find out the most cost effective way to reduce congestion. Those were the foundation of the $3.3 billion expansion happening today. We'll go from four to eight lanes across the water by 2025.